Hi everyone, welcome to Lighthouse Driving School's YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to take a look at some tricky roads. Roads that you might find hard to navigate. Roads that we know our learners struggle with when on test or in lesson. And we're just going to look at what obstacles there are on these roads and what we might find tricky when we're traveling down them. Going to be looking at Horn Street for this video. It's a road that a lot of people struggle with, not just learners. And the key to Horn Street is actually good observation and good planning. We're coming from the direction of Tesco. We're on Horn Street at the moment, and we're gonna continue down the hill into Seabrook. Turning right here, it's relatively new junction. Used to be a T junction. Now they've made the road curve round. Turn right box is on the curve. Take your time, observe to the left, observe to the right into the new road, make sure you're safe before turning. This is where we can get a little bit stuck as we start to go downhill. Coming up on the left-hand side of the road is a primary school. And what you have is a lot of the staff will park on Horn Street itself. Really good observation in the distance. Look through the cars. Look through the cars to the left through the path. Look in advance as far as you can see. It's really important to make sure that you are observing really well for this road. And any road that has parked cars on it or any other obstructions, good observation is what's going to absolutely ensure safety when driving on these roads. As I'm coming around the bend, I'm looking through the gap between the car and the fence round the bend, not just on my right hand side of the road. I'm trying to scan wherever I can to ensure that I can see safely. Follow the road, do it at a pace that you feel comfortable at. We're going downhill, the road is bendy. Keep the car under control. You're in control, you're the driver. Use those brakes. Old school teaching will tell you to use the gears as well. You know what, whatever you need to do to slow yourself down. As we're coming down here, again, good observations. We know that it's blind round to the right. We've got parked cars, we've got obstacles in the way. As we're coming round, we're looking far in the distance. The video doesn't show as clearly in the distance as if you were there in person. Um, so obviously when you're driving yourself, you'll be able to see a lot clearer than the video shows. We've got glare of the sun on the windscreen. You've got the reflection of the windscreen heater grills there. So obviously the video is not showing as clearly as you would see in person, but the, it's observation. Keep control of the vehicle. You can see I'm keeping a good distance from the red car in front, 24 mile an hour. We're in a 30 zone not getting up to 30 we're going to keep control of the car doesn't matter who's behind you keeping a safe distance that's important and it's understandable why so many people struggle with this road you've got parked cars you've got a hill you've got bends really tight at times particularly back at the britannia pub where we just were Observe, keep a safe distance, keep control of the vehicle. Another bend round to the left. And the barrier there, a lot of people struggle with that as well. It feels like it's encroaching on your space. As we're coming down to the end of Horn Street, through the tunnel, we've then got a stop sign at the end of the road. Two lanes, we're gonna be going left, we're going to make sure we bring the vehicle to a complete stop. You don't necessarily have to put the handbrake on. Um, we recommend putting the handbrake on just to ensure that the car is definitely secure while you're stopped. But you must make sure you come to a full stop at a stop sign. When it's clear, off we go. And then off towards Seabrook. That's Horn Street. We hope you found that really useful. Keep an eye out for more videos and subscribe to the channel and then you'll get notified straight away. Stay safe out on the roads. We'll see you soon.